Like that one. Thank you. Hi guys, how you doing? Sean Connor here. You all probably know me better as Dylan Christie. And today I'm going to be reading you a story called Nessie's Selfie. It's a belter. Enjoy. Nessie's Selfie. A story of fun, friendship and finding Nessie. Written by Bria Keenan and illustrated by David Nicholl. One lazy sunny day in June, Nessie was fed up with this caper. Sick of hiding in the lock from bad pictures in the paper. Enough's enough, Nessie thought. I'm going to put this right. I'll get my hair and my lippy done. No more giving them a fright. I hate the way they think of me as this scary water creature. I really am quite friendly and I'd quite like this to feature. I'm on my own, so talk to me. Ask me what's my name. We may all look different, but you'll find we're all the same. So Nessie got herself all ready, painted her nails bright red. Picked out her very favourite dress with her best hat upon her head. While Nessie was preparing, wee Dawn was on her way to Loch Ness for a school trip to see Nessie for the day. She was sitting by herself, alone. You see, Dawn was very shy. She didn't know how to make a friend and no one ever asked her why. I'm on my own, so talk to me. Ask me what's my name. We may all look different, but you'll find we're all the same. So the class arrived, excited. Dawn took out her trusty phone, determined to get a picture of Nessie on her own. Nessie was finally ready. It was time to show them all. So she took a big, deep breath, ready to stand proud and tall. And splash! Her monster head emerged right above the shore. The big group of school children all turned to run and roar. One girl stayed behind them. Hello, she said. I'm Dawn. We came here just to see you, so I'm not sure why they've gone. I'm on my own, so talk to me. Ask me what's my name. We may all look different, but you'll find we're all the same. That's okay, said Nessie. I can see why they all fled. But I'm really not that bad. See, my nails, they're shiny red. I know how you feel, Don said. But for you, I thought they'd queue. I'd love to have a friend one day. Maybe a friend like you. But what a great idea, cried Nessie. And they began to chat and play. Before long, it was time for Dawn to head home for the day. And before you go away again, Nessie said, take a snap of me and you and show it off to all the town to prove I'm human too. And show it to all your class after we say goodbye. Tell them that you'd like to chat, but often feel too shy. Okay, Dawn said, already I'll take one with my phone. I'll show it to my class, to mum and dad when I get home. And once she'd shown one person, they all began to gather round. Look, Don and Nessie playing chess, eating at the picnic ground. You're not alone. You talk, you see. They know you and your name. We may all look different, but you'll find we're all the same. Don found herself with lots of friends and a claim to fame with Nessie. Front page of the local press with the Loch Ness Monster selfie. There we go, guys. That is the end of the book. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing it um, as much as I enjoyed reading it. As you can see on your screen now, there is a wee page at the back of the book that says Time to Talk. Um, and it's got a couple of wee questions there that you can talk about or discuss um, with whoever it is that you live with. But there's one just at the bottom that says, Can you draw a selfie with you and Nessie? So if you think you can draw a cracker of a picture of you and Nessie, Draw them for us and send them onto the River City Storytime page um, so we can have a wee look at them and we'll retweet them for you as well. That was Nessie's Selfie, written by Bria Keenan and illustrated by David Nicholl and read by me, Sean Connor. Thank you so much to Bria and David for letting us read the book um, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. All right, take care.